Hello everybody, Fixer here, back with Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. We left off, we saved the Maiden Fairy, and we're escaping the giant, invisible giants, whatever it is. God, that's gorgeous. Should be a bench there. And now she's taking us wherever she's taking us. To a cave! That sounds safe. Big Brother just wants to get some, doesn't he? Isn't she creepy, though? She does have a little bit of creepiness to her, doesn't she? And why is she taking us in a cave? I don't like her behind us, though. I, I think we ought to put her in front. That's just me. Yeah, bodies in the cave, guys. Bodies in the cave. Of course, they don't see it. Can I go up there? No. Okay. Uh-oh. That's problematic. <laughs> Boy, did she change. So we got caught in her web, so to speak. Alright, little bro. It's your time to shine, little bro. I think we got a swing here, don't we? There we go. Oh god, this is gonna be difficult with the controller, I know it. Bam! No! No! I, I forget what I need to do. Oh, I'm using the wrong one. I have to hit her. There we go. And then he's got to grab an arm and rip it right off. Bam. Run! Nope, I have to... Oh, I missed! Bam. Grab an arm. Yo, wow, you don't have to just walk right over her. Jesus. Okay, we got this. Alright, this isn't too difficult. I was afraid this was going to be difficult. Oh. Bam! Grab an arm. Rip it off. Get out of the way, brother. There we go. Alright, now she's struggling. Bam! All right, hurry up. Go rip her leg off. We saved you! You were the chosen one! That's a creepy sound. All right, let's get her down one more time. Get that other leg off. Oh, 
Alright, now we gotta save our brother. Yeah, when that happened the first time I played that, that was hard to take. Of course, I was fully expecting it this time. But the first time, yes, that was definitely hard. Not good. Not good. And there it is. So this was our, our our goal the whole time. This is what we came for to save our father. And it's um you need um I know I said at the beginning that you need some kind of reagent or something and um what is it? you need to collect the sap, I think it is, or the water from the tree. And it's it's kind of like, you know, the tree of life. Isn't that gorgeous though? God. This game. Yeah, that was a stomach shot. Yep, 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 yep. Let's go get the stuff so we can save him. Don't worry, bro. We got this. Yep. God, that music. This whole scene. I love it. It's just gorgeous. Hey, we need more games like this. That tree goes down deep. Yeah, I, I mean, from... Yeah, I, I just... I remember the feels when I first played it. This was such a... An emotional part of the game. It's just really nice to see something that hits you that deep in a game. And it doesn't happen often at all. At least not for me, but I suspect for most people it doesn't. But, um... I never really felt that way about a game, with the exception of To the Moon. But, you know To the Moon. At least I hope you do. If you don't know To the Moon, Jesus Christ, stop what you're doing and go get the game and play it. Or you can watch my series, I suppose. But, buy the game. That def needs money so he can make more games. Which he's doing. So this is the water of life, I guess? Whatever. It's supposed to cure things. So we now get it, gotta get it to, uh, down to brother. So we can go home.
That's so sad, isn't it? It was too much for him. The water couldn't help him. Such a good scene. So, now you're probably wondering, are you freaking serious? This is what hit me the most in this game. No, 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 not the most. Second most. This, this right here was really hard that we actually had to bury one of the brothers. It wasn't just enough that that he died, right? That we actually have to use the controls to drag our brother, or the a brother, over to the hole to bury him. And I just, I was like, I can't believe this is in a game. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. Just no games would have the balls to put this in their, or no devs would have the balls to put something like this in their game. And I was just like, wow. You're making us bury one of them. That is messed up. I'm glad it's here, though, man. I'm glad it's here. It's part of what makes this game so great. All right. So I'm hoping that you did play the game yourself and you saw that coming. That's what I'm hoping for. Here we are. Look, that's it. That scene is put in there we bury our brother and it's the next cutscene. It's it's such a strange addition to a game. And I love it. I don't care that it's weird and strange and messed up in a way. Look who's here. Time for the long journey home. Good thing we got ourselves a griffin. <laughs> or whatever the heck this thing is. Again, more gorgeous scenes.
Since games like this prove that you don't need the AAA graphics to make a game gorgeous. Although that popping can be a little better, I admit. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Gotta make the the walk home. Or the run, I guess you can run. I would not mind living in a location like that. Shell slide. All right. We can't swim. telling us we can do it. So you hop in the water. And you'll... I don't know if you can see it, but he's shaking his head. He won't do it. So when you... um, And, and, and this is what's unfortunate about me not doing a blind LP here. And, um, and this right here, this scene, is the reason why you should have played it on your own. When you watch any LP, I don't know if this is the first one you've watched or not, but if you go to watch others, you'll see, and, and I did the same thing, people are stuck here for sometimes a while. I, when I originally played, I bet you I was stuck in this area for five minutes or so because I didn't know what to do. I thought that I had the, had the strength to, to swim now, and I don't at all and and every LP that I've I've checked out everybody struggles with the same problem they don't know how to get by this part he won't swim he's too scared to and the reason that is is that I'm still playing or I'm playing now as as just the one brother in order to get by this puzzle you have to play as if the other brother is still here with his controls and you do that and he suddenly has the strength to go on his own so right now I'm controlling both the big brother and the little brother and he's helping the little brother get through the water like he always has 
only he's not physically there. But the controls are still there for him. And I think that is freaking genius. When that when I first played this game and I did that, I got chills like you wouldn't believe. And here we go again. I do it just as the little brother, just using his controls. And he can't do it, he's not strong enough. But, as the brother? He draws from the strength of his brother and he can do it. Again, on his own he can't do it. And there we go. With the help of his brother, he can do it. And I just think that's amazing. I think that's one of the most clever things I've seen in a video game. He's okay. He's okay. <laughs> we don't we don't lose the entire family. Can I skip those stones? I never tried it. I don't think I did. Oh, that's fantastic. That's great. All right. Heading up to the house. I don't know why. And look what he, look who's standing up there. He survived, standing up there like Luke Skywalker. And he's got a headstone for his son. Wasn't that wonderful? I just loved it. That's really loud. I'm gonna have to turn that down. So, I, 
I really hope you played the game first before you watch this. I really do, because if you did not, you, you completely missed out on one of the most unique experiences they've that's ever been put in a game, in my opinion. And, and I, I don't think I'm alone in that opinion. I think a lot of people feel that way about this game. And um, it would be unfortunate for you to miss out on that. The, the way that they tied the emotion and story into the gameplay, especially near the end, where even though one of the, the older brother was dead, and you're, and you're continuing on as a little brother, you only could make it to the end of the journey by channeling your older brother, by actually playing as if he's still there. My left hand was still moving around and, and, and hitting the trigger as if the brother was there and he wasn't. And it seems so strange how how simple of an idea that is, yet it's not been done, at least not been done in any notable game that I know of. Um, I've played a lot of games in my time, and, and I've never seen that before. I, it's probably been done, but but not it not in any notable game, I don't think. And it just seems so weird to me that it's it's rare to see that. It never happens. So, that's Starbreeze Studios. Um, I, I really look forward to their next game. Uh, I don't really care what kind of genre it is. But it's they've shown that they've obviously got in touch with a, with a side of game development that not many people have. And, and I think that's just brilliant. And I really look forward to their next game. Don't care what genre. I'll, I'll play it anyways. And um, that's it. That's Brother of Tale of Two Sons. Um, again, you can get it on Steam or, or Humble for $10 or so. Usually it might be $15. But you can get it on sale for $5, $3 here and there. And and I really hope you played it instead of watched this. Or else you, you kind of got cheated out of a rare experience, I think. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.